Check this out. Top 10 African songs for Easter. My name is Fairchild and you are watching Cross Rhythm. Number 10, I have Kene Jesu. This is by the Midnight Crew. This is a Nigerian gospel group that began, that was started in 2001. It comprises of four members. Pat Uwaje King is the lead singer. She's also a solo artist. She's had a, a solo career. In interviews that I did read, Midnight Crew did say that they are still together, so we should expect more songs from them in the future. Kene Jesu is off their 2009 album, Igwe. Listening to Midnight Crew's music, they draw a lot of influences from international acts, and they mix that with traditional sounding Nigerian music. Just listening to that Igwe album, I got a lot of early Kirk Franklin, 90s Kirk Franklin feel from it. And the song Kene Jesu, Kene Jesu is a Yoruba phrase. It's saying, thanks be to God, thank God. So this song is talking about praising God, my number 10 on my list. Number nine, I have Faroz with What He's Done. This is a single. It was released in 2000, this year, 2021. I'm assuming it's in an upcoming project that is to come out. Uh, Faroz is from Zimbabwe. I am Zimbabwean too. And the song really appeals to me. I mean, the hook, listening to a lot of uh, Faroz's songs. I went through her catalog. A lot of her songs are very upbeat. You know, when we look at a lot of genres that have become popular in Zimbabwe over the years, whether it's Sungura or Chimurenga, they have been upbeat. And this song is not an exception. Faroz takes a lot of those sensibilities and fuses it with gospel music. Just listening to the hook, it reminded me of some songs that I grew up listening to. The song talks about being in a grim situation and through God finding a way out of it and being thankful through it all. Number eight, we have Anumneka Jesus, the remix by Evans Ogboy. He is a Nigerian-born, UK-based artist. Uh, this is off his 2014 Songs From My Heart project. He's a multi-award winning artist. Anumneka, Jesus means I am in Jesus' hands. This was recorded in the live City Gates Church in London. It's a live worship album. You know, in the gospel genre, we have a lot of uh, live worship albums. Israel Houghton. Donnie McClurkin having some of my favorite ones, the Israel Houghton one that was recorded in South Africa being one of my favorites. And on this song, Evans really goes in on this one. The message is clear and direct, and the song arrangement is complex, with him taking on different melodies at different points of the song. Good listen from beginning to end. Number seven, I have Blessed by Akase Brempong featuring Joe Metal. I love this music video. Probably my favorite music video on this list. Akese Brengpong is a Ghanaian singer-songwriter. He cites Dietrich Haddon as being a, an influence. I definitely see that in, in the music video when you watch it. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. The song is talking about being blessed, regardless of how life is going, still taking time to acknowledge the blessings bestowed upon him. A lot of fun was had on this one. Joe Metal is an award-winning Ghanaian artist. Both Arkese and Joe's albums tend to be live recorded albums. So it was great to hear both of them get into a studio and produce this Afrobeat-inspired gospel song. Number six, we have Logon Tiode by Tope Alabi. This is off her 2019 The Spirit of the Light album. Most of the songs on this album were very simple, not a lot of instrumentation, just one or two instruments. On Logon Tiode, you just have a piano playing throughout, and then you have a hand drum towards the end. The song talks about having a life that was incomplete without meaning before meeting Christ. Logon Tiode means the moment he arrived. Her personality really shines through on this one with different exclamations that she uses at different parts of the song. My number six. Messiah by Hotzo is my number five. Pastor, 
television presenter. I mean, look, this guy does it all. Hotzo became popular in 2008 when he entered the I Want to Sing Gospel. It was a reality show competition on SABC2. This song is asking the Lord to pour down his spirit on us. Messiah is off his 2017 New Dawn album, which was a live album. And shout out to the drummer and the lead guitar. They really go in on this one. Loving the double pedal on this song. Number four, Obina Som by Mercy Chinwo. She was the winner of season two of Nigerian Idols. This is off her 2020 Satisfied album. The lyrics are simple, but the melodies and harmonies are catchy on this one. Obina Som is Igbo, means my heart is full. This one has a high replay value and a music video. Go check it out if you haven't. Number three, I have Lion of Judah by Lebo Sechobela. This is off her 2016 Restored album, which is a live album. And man, they really captured a moment with this one. You know, there are times with these albums where these these live albums where they really capture the feel in the room at the time. And this one is is definitely that does that. Lebo's voice is commanding and she hits every note perfectly. We even have a moment where the, the audience begins singing and the drummer goes in with that double pedal on this one. The song is talking about depending on God and feeling safe under his wings. This is my favorite live album song on, you know, to date, up to this date with all the live albums that are out there. You know, there are a lot of live album songs. Oh, there's a lot more out there that I, I need to be put on. If you guys have any favorites, let me know. I would like to possibly create a live album list in the future. At number two, we have He Reigneth by Floroca. This is off his 2012 sanctioned project. Nigerian producer, singer-songwriter. This album takes a lot of international gospel influences and fuses them with his own to create a very unique sounding album. I had a lot of favorites on, on his sanctioned project. He Reigneth is one of my standouts from that project. The drummer, the choir, and him, they play off each other very well on this one, and you get a, a sort of bounce. Great song. And my number one is A Dome Grace by Diana Hamilton, Ghanaian gospel singer. The song was released in 2020. The song reminds me of late 80s, early 90s sound. Uh, the sound is so African from the style of drumming. Uh, you know, he uses a cross stick technique throughout the whole song. And we even have a horn section. Her vocals produce a sound that is so African. Adom means grace. The song talks about facing different challenges, but through God's grace, finding a way out of it. My number one song. So that's it, folks. My top 10 African songs for Easter 2021. Here at Cross Rhythm, we would like to wish everybody a happy Easter. Let me know what some of your favorite African Christian gospel songs are. Remember to like and subscribe, and let's continue the discussion in the comments.